Have you ever sent off an email message and you're like, oopsie doodle, didn't mean to send that off. Oh great, I'm going to get in trouble. Like this annual pumpkin festival here that I've already asked Carrie about. And if I click send, she's going to get angry at me. Well, I can use the message recall that will delete this from the inbox if it meets the following criteria. One, we're both connected to an exchange server. Two, the message hasn't been opened. Three, it has not been moved out of the inbox. And four, the receiver is running Outlook and is logged in. So if I come up here and click send, and away it goes, and I'm like, whoopsie doodle, oh great, I didn't mean to do that. Well, remember, every time you send off a message, there's a copy of it over in the sent items folder. Go ahead and select it, and it's right there. To recall it or delete it from the person's inbox, double click, and then come up here, and then go ahead and go to the move group, and click on the more move actions, and we want to go down to recall this message. And you can see in the pop-up, message recall can delete or replace copies of this message in the recipient's inbox if the message has not been read. Well, there's a, a side note to that that I'll talk about in just a minute. Let's go ahead and click on recall this message, and you get a couple of options. You can delete the unread copies of this message, or delete unread copies and replace it with a new message. The only difference between the two is that, of course, both will be deleted. But after it sends out the recall to delete the message, it'll open up a new window for you to go ahead and type in a new message which we'll go over in just a minute. Let's go ahead and delete unread copies. Click OK. And it says right here, information. You've tried to recall this message on Thursday, date and time. Let's go ahead and close out. And if it's successful, let's go to the inbox. We should get something here that says successful. Hey, there we go. Message recall was successful for the pumpkin festival subject. And you can see the icon there that represents the recall. The little arrow pointing back, it means that it's coming back to you, or more technically accurate, it destroyed that message you sent off over to Carrie from her inbox. And you can see, check mark, mission completed. Of course, you can go ahead and double click to open it up if you really want to read what's already in the subject there. Your message was recalled successfully. Oh, great. Let's go ahead and close out. Now let's go ahead and do it again. And only this time, let's see what it looks like when she opens up and reads it. The rejection that we get that it was not a success. So to go ahead and resend it, go to the sent items folder, and hey, looky there. That's what we sent off originally, but when we do a recall, you get this little icon here. I don't know if you can see it, it's so tiny. You got three dudes, and next to the first dude is a check mark, then an X and a question mark. In any case, that's the indicator to let you know that you did a recall on this. In any case, let's go ahead and double click to open it up. You tried to recall this, and it was a success, but let's go ahead and resend it again. Click on the drop down arrow in the same group, the move group, and go down to resend this message. Opens it up, we'll send the same thing, click send, only this time, let me go ahead and close out, and let me go ahead and have Carrie actually open it up, so with it open and being read, when I go ahead and try to recall it, double click to open up that message, come back up here in the move group, click on the drop down arrow to recall this message, and we can do delete unread copies and replace with a new message, click OK, so it sends out the recall to delete the message, and then it opens up, a new message or a copy of it that, well, you can delete it, type in something else, then send it off. So when it deletes it, this will take its place. If it doesn't delete it, you send this off, not only will you not have the original message deleted, but you'll have a new one in its place. And there you go. Recall failure. Oh, that's horrifying. Let's go ahead and open it up. Cannot be recalled because it's opened. Let's go ahead and close it out. Now let's go ahead and try it again. Come up here to the move group, click on the drop down arrow, and say recall this message. And we'll just delete the unread copies of the message, click OK. And why am I doing this again? Because I want to show you what happens. It's not because I'm doing it again that the Exchange server goes, oh, well, let me go ahead and give you a bypass. You see how it says it was successful now? Why? Because here's the tidbit, the trick, that you know how you can go ahead and let me close out of here and go back to the inbox. You can take a message and right-click on it. Let me right-click on it and mark it as being unread. So she's in her inbox and going, oh, that's nice. He asked me this. Ooh, I'm so angry. I'm going to have to address this later. And she marks it as being unread. I can go ahead and recall that. So you may want to keep that in mind. If you're up here marking things as being unread, anybody can recall it even though you actually read it, which brings up another point that I'll never know she already read it and then just simply right-clicked on it to mark it as being unread when I recall it because the recall will be successful, obviously, because... Technically, it has not been read according to Outlook. You can't tell that you actually read it as going off your actions here. When you mark it as unread, it's never being read. Thanks for watching. 
Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.